the city awakens. A symphony of car horns, sirens and construction clangs fills the air. Amidst this urban orchestra, the gentle cooing of pigeons can be heard. These birds, often dismissed as pests, are masters of survival in a world built by and for humans. Imagine navigating a world without GPS, street signs or even a compass. This is the reality for the urban pigeon, relying on instinct and an uncanny sense of direction. Pigeons possess an internal compass using the Earth's magnetic field, combined with keen eyesight and memory for landmarks. Their aerial prowess, reaching speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, makes them masters of the urban airspace. The urban pigeon is a master of adaptation, thriving in the city with unique physical and behavioural traits. Their diet has evolved from seeds and grains to scavenging for food scraps and discarded fast food. Urban pigeons exhibit a wider range of plumage colours and patterns, reflecting their adaptation to city life. Before dodging taxis and scavenging for pizza crusts, pigeons were creatures of the wild, specifically rocky cliffs and caves. The rock dove, the ancestor of the modern urban pigeon, was perfectly adapted to rugged landscapes. The arrival of humans marked the beginning of a long relationship leading to the rise of the urban pigeon. Pigeons became indispensable messengers their speed and navigational skills invaluable in a world without telephones or the internet. From delivering military dispatches to carrying love letters, pigeons played a vital role in shaping human history. Pigeons also became a readily available source of food, with pigeon meat considered a delicacy in many cultures. Instead of shying away, pigeons embraced the bustling urban environment discovering an abundance of food and ample shelter. The architectural marvels of the city provided nesting opportunities on ledges, windowsills and statues. Their ability to build nests from any available materials made them true masters of urban construction. A dropped french fry or stray popcorn kernel is a smorgasbord of opportunity for these resourceful birds. Their scavenging skills are a sight to behold, snatching crumbs with the grace of a seasoned street performer. They have a sixth sense for anything remotely edible, thriving in a world where food is often plentiful, but rarely presented on a silver platter. The urban pigeon has traded in rustic charm for penthouse views, building homes amidst skyscrapers and bridges. They've become architects of the unexpected, transforming window ledges and building nooks into sturdy nests. Pigeons have developed a taste for prime real estate, with nests durable enough to withstand strong winds and heavy rain. Their resourcefulness in making do with whatever they can find is a testament to their adaptability. Life in the urban fast lane has left its mark on the pigeon with subtle yet significant evolutionary changes. Urban pigeons display a dazzling array of colors and patterns, a result of genetic mixing and lack of natural predators. Their toes are stronger and more flexible, allowing them to navigate rooftops and ledges with ease. Sharp claws provide a secure grip on window sills and building facades, turning the city into their personal jungle gym. Navigating the urban jungle requires street smarts, spatial awareness and fearlessness. Pigeons' aerial agility allows them to navigate narrow alleyways and soar above traffic jams. They possess an internal compass, sensing the Earth's magnetic field and creating intricate mental maps of their urban territories. Pigeons are the undisputed champions of urban navigation proving that nature finds a way even in a world of concrete and steel. In the heart of the concrete jungle, the urban pigeon finds solace and strength in numbers. They are highly social animals, navigating their world in bustling flocks that move with mesmerizing synchronicity. 
Within these flocks, a complex social hierarchy exists with leaders and followers, bold individuals and shy wallflowers. This sense of community is particularly evident in colder months when pigeons huddle together for warmth. Beneath the seemingly random activity of a flock lies a sophisticated communication system. Pigeons rely on a combination of coos, gestures and body language to convey their thoughts and intentions. From courtship displays to territorial warnings, each coo has a specific meaning. Pigeons are masters of non-verbal cues, using subtle shifts in posture and head movements to communicate. Pigeons navigate their urban territories with accuracy and efficiency, using their remarkable spatial memory. They sense the Earth's magnetic field and use this information to chart their course. Pigeons memorize landmarks, recognize familiar routes, and use the position of the sun to guide their flight. Every successful flight reinforces their mental maps, making them more efficient and confident navigators. The relationship between humans and pigeons is, to put it mildly, complicated and multifaceted. We built the cities they inhabit, albeit unintentionally, providing them with a smorgasbord of food scraps and a surprising array of nesting opportunities in every nook and cranny. Yet our appreciation for their adaptability is often overshadowed by a sense of annoyance, even disgust, as they invade our personal spaces. To some, they are nothing more than rats with wings, a feathered nuisance that soils statues, disrupts picnics, and clutters sidewalks with their droppings, making urban life messier. Their presence is seen as an encroachment, a reminder that even in our concrete jungles, we are not alone, sharing space with these resilient birds. And let's be honest, their fondness for congregating in large, cooing flocks doesn't exactly endear them to those seeking a moment of peace and quiet amidst the urban chaos and noise. They have an uncanny ability to materialize out of thin air, transforming a tranquil park bench into a flurry of feathers and frantic wing beats, disrupting the calm. Yet, there's a certain irony to our disdain, a contradiction in our feelings towards them. We marvel at their adaptability, their ability to thrive in an environment we ourselves find challenging at times, navigating the urban landscape with ease. We create the very conditions that attract them, leaving behind a trail of crumbs and discarded food, like breadcrumbs scattered for a feathered Hansel and Gretel, inviting them into our world. the age-old question to feed or not to feed the pigeons. It's a dilemma that has plagued park goers and city dwellers for generations, a moral quandary played out on benches and sidewalks across the globe. On one hand, there's the undeniable urge to connect with nature, to witness the simple joy of a bird enjoying a well-earned meal. The sight of a flock of pigeons descending upon a scattering of birdseed, their wings creating a miniature whirlwind of gray and white, can be strangely mesmerizing. It's a fleeting moment of connection, a reminder that even in our concrete jungles, the rhythms of nature persist. But our good intentions often come with unintended consequences. Feeding pigeons, while seemingly harmless, can actually contribute to a host of problems from overpopulation and increased aggression to the spread of diseases. When food becomes readily available, pigeon populations can explode putting a strain on resources and leading to increased competition for food and nesting sites. And let's not forget the impact on our own hygiene. Pigeon droppings, while unpleasant under any circumstances, become a more pervasive problem when flocks are concentrated in areas where people congregate. So how do we coexist with these feathered urbanites, these masters of adaptation, who have made our cities their own. It's a question that requires a nuanced approach, a balance of appreciation for their resilience and a recognition of the challenges they pose. Education is key. Understanding pigeon behavior, their needs and the impact of our actions is crucial to fostering a more harmonious relationship. Public awareness campaigns can help dispel myths and misconceptions, encouraging people to view pigeons not as pests, but as fellow inhabitants of our shared urban spaces. Urban planning can also play a role. Incorporating green spaces such as rooftop gardens and vertical forests can provide alternative habitats for pigeons, 
reducing their reliance on human-dominated areas. Designated bird feeding zones, strategically located away from high traffic areas, can satisfy our urge to connect with nature while minimizing the negative impacts of feeding. And perhaps most importantly, we need a shift in perspective. Instead of viewing pigeons as a nuisance to be eradicated, we can choose to see them as a testament to the power of nature to adapt and thrive, even in the most unlikely of environments. The urban pigeon, for all its perceived flaws and imperfections, is a creature of remarkable resilience and adaptability, a testament to the power of natural selection to shape life in even the most human-dominated environments, where survival is a daily challenge. They have adapted to our cities, our habits, even our culinary preferences, finding sustenance in our leftovers, becoming an integral part of the urban ecosystem. And while their presence may not always be welcomed by everyone, their story is one worth telling and sharing. A reminder that we share our world with a multitude of other creatures, each contributing to the urban environment, each with its own unique role to play in the ecosystem. Perhaps if we take the time to observe them closely, to appreciate their tenacity and resourcefulness in the face of adversity, we might even learn a thing or two about adaptation, resilience, and the interconnectedness of all living things. The urban pigeon, in its own way, is a symbol of our changing world and the resilience of life, a reflection of our own impact on the planet and the environment. Their story is a reminder that the future of wildlife, even in our concrete jungles, is inextricably linked to our own choices and actions, our willingness to coexist and find harmony in the shared spaces we occupy. The city, after all, is not just our domain, but a vibrant tapestry of life. And the urban pigeon, with its unwavering spirit and remarkable adaptability, is an undeniable thread in this urban fabric. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the urban jungle, our feathered protagonist takes center stage one last time, basking in the twilight glow. The urban pigeon, often overlooked, often maligned, stands as a symbol of resilience in the face of relentless change and urban chaos. They are the ultimate underdogs, these avian survivors, thriving in a world not built for them, yet adapting with a tenacity that would put any city slicker to shame. We've witnessed their journey, from rocky cliffs to concrete canyons, from messengers of war to scavengers of snacks and scraps. We've marveled at their aerial acrobatics, their uncanny navigational skills, their ability to find sustenance and shelter in the most unexpected of places against all odds. They are the feathered embodiment of street smarts, these pigeons, masters of their concrete domain. They've taught us that survival is not about brute strength or imposing size, but about adaptability, resourcefulness, and a healthy dose of opportunistic flair. And perhaps, just perhaps, they've also reminded us that even in the heart of the city, amidst the relentless hum of human activity, there's a certain poetry in motion, a beauty in the unexpected, a reminder that nature, in its infinite forms, finds a way to thrive. So, as we bid farewell to our feathered friends, let us raise a toast, or perhaps a scattered handful of birdseed, to the urban pigeon. They may not be the most glamorous of creatures, but they are, without a doubt, among the most resilient. They are the unsung heroes of the urban ecosystem, the feathered victors in the concrete jungle. They've earned our respect, these pigeons, and perhaps even a touch of admiration. They've shown us that survival is not about fitting in, but about standing out about embracing the challenges and opportunities that come with living in a world that's constantly evolving. And as we watch them soar above the city, their wings catching the last rays of the setting sun, let us remember that the urban pigeon, in all its gritty glory, is a testament to the enduring power of nature. A reminder that even in the most unlikely of places, life in all its messy, adaptable and utterly remarkable forms finds a way.